Hello, in this video I'll show you how to use the kinetic text animation in Explained Year 4.0. In a previous video I showed you how to use text by letter animation, so I would encourage you to watch it. So I've got a project open here with a couple of scenes which I'll use to demo some kinetic text animations. In this first scene I have a text box and image without any animations. So I'll click this area to add an animation. These are all the kinetic text animation options. First of all, kinetic text in are only in animations, and kinetic text out are only out animations. Similarly, kinetic text in out include both in and out animations. I'll show you some examples soon. Secondly, the in and out animations can be applied to both text and images, as well as other elements. But for the in out animations, they are limited for images and other elements. So for example, for the text element, you'll see that there are quite a few animation options here. Whereas if I click on the image element, you'll see that there are only six animation options here. Now let's explore some animation options. I'll go to the text element. I'll choose kinetic text in and zoom in bounds. And you'll see a quick preview of the animation here. Let me expand the timeline and also add an out animation. So I'll choose kinetic text out and hide zoom out. And here is a quick preview of the animation. So this is the in animation and here's the out animation. Next let's add an animation to the image. I'll click on kinetic text in, choose wind scatter, and I'll move this gray bar further down the timeline like so. And if you do a quick scene preview, you'll see that the text animates first and then the image. So these are the basics of using the kinetic text in and out animations. Now let's go to the second scene and we'll explore the kinetic text in out animations, which are a little bit different. So I've got a text element with the words explain to your video creator. Let's add an animation. So we'll choose kinetic text in out and block magnet. And you'll see a quick preview. If I do a scene preview again, you'll notice that it includes both an in animation and an out animation. Similar to other animations, you can use a slider to control the speed of the animation like so. But if you go to the effects tab, you'll notice that there are some additional controls here, and these are specific to the animation you choose. For example, if I extend the slider, you'll notice that the text remains on the screen much longer and the animation is also a lot slower. I can also change the color scheme to pink for example, and here's what the animation looks like. The animation of course is a bit slower, but you get the point. Now let's try another animation. I'll click this edit button, choose kinetic text in out, and go with glitch. And here's a quick preview of the animation. That looks pretty cool. In the effects tab, you'll see that there are two color boxes to control the glitch colors if you want to. Let's try another one. I'll choose kinetic text in out and text decode. This animation looks pretty neat as well as you can see. If I extend this slider for read duration, you can see that the text remains on the screen much longer. In this last scene, I've applied an animation called Word by Word. Now, there is no way for me to cover all the kinetic text animations in this video, but I encourage you to poke around. Well, that's it for now. I'll see you in the next video.